There's nothing less attractive than being needy, mm. always available, having nothing else going on in your life. So if you're thinking that, oh, all I have to do is get a girlfriend and everything else is going to fall into place, you're neglecting one of the biggest attraction triggers, which is having a social life, having a peer group and a network that shows you're pre-selected, that shows you're someone of high value that other people want to spend time with, that other people want in their life. To put the burden of your social life, your best friend, your therapist, your romantic partner, your sexual partner, all on a woman, as a guy, there's nothing less attractive than putting all of that on a partner. And you don't want to wait until you've had the first date and find yourself then chasing friends for that opportunity when she's interested in meeting who's in your life, who is in your network. And this is why so many of our X Factor participants find success in their dating life because they're learning the social skills that create a high value network. They're not just focusing on attraction triggers and how do I get this one woman, this one specific attractive partner in my life. They're looking at it more holistically of how do I become extraordinary by attracting amazing people into my life, not just women. There's yet another powerful thing that a peer group does for you. Uh, and that has to do with compliance and conformity. And this is a study done by Kildini and Goldstein. And if the name Kildini rings a bell, that's the author of Influence and Persuasion, some amazing best-selling books that have a lot of wisdom in them. Anyway, um, in their review paper on compliance and conformity, they, in very short, say that when times are uncertain, when situations are uncertain, humans do what the herd does. So how does that apply to you at a social event? Imagine you're coming into a social event and, and no one knows you. You have to prove yourself. <laughs> you're standing there all by yourself in the corner. And if I know you, listener, you're going to clutch your beer and you're going to hold it really close to your chest and you're going to look at your phone a lot. Um, now, let's replay, let's rewind this and say that at the social event, you know a couple of people. So the moment the stranger, you, walk into the venue, there are a bunch of people whose face lights up. It's like, oh, there's AJ, there's Johnny. They walk over to you, they give you a high five, they give you a hug, they take you to the bar, they buy you a drink. This is the uncertainty they were talking about. People don't know you, but now there are a few influencers. There are a few, peop a few people in this crowd that do know you. And they like you, they appreciate you, they want you to be there. And the rest of the herd does what the leaders do. Everyone else is thinking, oh, this AJ, this Johnny, they must be cool dudes if they are being um, welcomed like this by their friends. Um, I need to meet them because this is someone you know I want to have in my life as well. And having options in your social life changes your behavior in your romantic life. Mm -hmm. 